Hey listeners, thank you for joining us today for another session of the Lincoln Informative. I'm your host, Neely Chestain, and today's topic is useful internet sites for high school teachers. My guests today are teachers Laura Scott and Jasmine Marshall. Good evening, ladies. Hello. Good evening. Laura, why don't you start us off with some of the sites that you find useful in the classroom? I'd be happy to. There are a couple of sites that I find useful in the classroom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk y'all through some of them. One of the first sites that I like being a teacher in Alabama is the Alex website. It's the Alabama Learning Exchange. And this site is really useful because it has all types of resources. As you can see, um, you can go and see what courses of study you need to have in your curriculum. This is how I normally plan my units. I go through and decide what I need to teach in my curriculum for that semester and after I do that I can go and use some of these other cool tools such as lesson plans, um, personal workspace, searches, everything like this gives you the tools that you need to incorporate how you're going to teach these different courses of study. So that's one thing that I really enjoy using. Um, another website that I like a lot is when I'm teaching my health standards, I like mypyramid.gov. This is also a cool website, not only for in the classroom, but just for anybody. It's a website that is basically the food guide pyramid redone. Um, it's more current and it's more interactive. What you can do is it even has places that you can go and um, you can look inside the pyramid It'll let you go to the different parts. You've got all different food groups. It tells you examples of the food groups. Um, there's actually one part that you can go to, and I use this a lot for um, whenever I'm teaching nutrition. You can enter in your height and weight, and it'll put you on the right amount of daily caloric intake, how, many, um, how much you need to eat from each food group. So that's a really cool tool for my students to use because it's neat for them to go online and learn what type of foods that they need to be eating during the day, how many calories they need to consume during the day, and um, examples of foods that they can eat to, um, to carry that out. Another website that I like is Scholastic. Everybody remembers using Scholastic whenever they were a kid. Of course, then we only had a um, a little pamphlet, or at least whenever I was little, that's what we had. And it came, and I'd always get excited about it and look through it. It had current topics and everything like that. Well, now there's a great website you can go to specifically for teach teachers. There's teaching resources. Um, you can go on there. There's student activities. Um, you can order the Scholastic News. You can do reading responses. Um, look at the different types of products that they offer. There's even a part for lesson plans and resources for your grade that you can click on through here. Um, so this is just a few websites that I use day to day whenever I'm planning my curriculum to help my students get involved um, and just basically connect with the different subjects that I have to teach throughout the year. Thank you so much, Laura. Those really are useful sites. Jasmine, would you like to show us some of the sites you found? Hi, I have also found a couple of sites that's very useful. The first site is internetforclassrooms.com. It has become a very reliable website that is shared among many teachers. It has very cool tools that you can go to. It provides activities for exceptional children that are placed in your classrooms. The activities that are provided for them will relate to your daily activities to the regular ed student. This site also provides guidance information for students. I have also found myself to rely on Internet for Classrooms when I am in need of remediation for a student. Yes, this site consists of great level help of all subjects for students, and again, it's www.internetforkids.com. Another site that I use quite frequently is teachers.net. 
This site consists of teachers from all across the world who come together to socialize through chat boards. Teachers.net, it helps one another in areas that teachers may be in need of in a classroom. They may be trying to capture their students' activities. Their, their students' attention. They also post different lesson plans and individual group activities and classroom projects. Many teachers get ideas from one another to help them just help make their students more reliable in a classroom. EIA.doe.gov is a very interesting site. This site is mainly about energy. Is mostly used in science classroom. It was created by the U.S. Energy Information Administration. It includes a variety of information and activities to advise students with energy. At this site, teachers are also able to share lesson plans and ideas. There are also visual field trails, which will help your students with their imagination. The teacher guide on this site is very helpful in games and activities www.eia.doe.gov helps educators create energy students. Thank you so much, Jasmine. So we've learned some pretty awesome tools and resources today to use in the classroom. I'd like to thank our guests, Laura and Jasmine, for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed our program today. Thanks for tuning in to the Lincoln Informative.